Hello everyone and welcome to a Fire Red Leaf Green Round 1 Tournament. My name is Chippy Toothy, other known as uh, Mr. 212, and joining me I have Blue Magma. Yo, what is up everybody? I am Blue Magma, I'll be commentating with Chippy Toothy here today for this tournament race. Um, I am not an expert in this game by any means, so I will try my best. Um, I hope that Chippy helps me out. I'm sure he will. He probably knows more than me, but I'm excited to be here. Thanks, everybody, for having me, and I'm excited to watch the race. And I believe without further ado, I think we should be almost ready to send off our racers. And uh, I guess we'll give a quick little insight on the Squirtles here while we're waiting. Uh, we do have two Rashes and a Modest. Uh, Randall's with being 10 HP is kind of a little monka. Uh, being 10 HP is pretty scary. And it looks like we're setting off with Kid Rocker. Uh, Kid Rocker is the only one on uh, consoles, so everyone else has to wait 25 seconds before they can start. Uh, yep. And then uh, Kid Rocker's got a Modest. And uh, I don't know if you know anything about Modest Blue Magma, but uh, some of those kick ranges, eh, they're not so good, man. They're not too good. But uh, yeah. being 30 attack is not you know, too terrible. And the other two races are off. Yeah, um, what do you think is the, do you think that there is a best Squirtle among these three? I oh, just, easily. looking at the Zans. stats, Zans looks very nice, yeah. It's a beautiful Squirtle, man. That's a beautiful Squirtle. I don't think you can really ask for too much more than that. Being 30, but 30 attack, yeah sure, you can probably maybe have 31 speed, but being 29, not a big deal. You'd be able to be faster than uh, Blaine. You might, I don't know about Carbos, but, uh, for Sabrina, but other than that, uh, should be relatively pretty good. Uh, yeah, I noticed. Modest is guaranteed. Yeah, yeah it, it probably. Uh, I believe uh, since Kid Rocker is doing uh, early surge, uh, I believe maybe it is guaranteed with 30 attack. So there should be maybe no worries. Yeah, I noticed no runners have 30 or 31 speed. Um, is that going to make a difference? Do you think with? Picking up Carbos later, do you think they're all gonna pick up Carbos? Is there any odds uh, that anybody's gonna skip it? I don't think Randall's gonna pick up Carbos. I think, um, I don't think he- I think he needs the X speed on both, uh, Blaine and Sabrina. Um, <laughs> Kid Rocker, on the other hand, I believe is always gonna be faster than, um, the Rapidash for Blaine's gym. Um, Yep. I don't know exactly if any speed uh, EVs will be able to, with Carbos, be able to be faster than Sabrina's, but um, it probably so. I can actually check real quick. Let's see. Let's see here real quick. Carbos, twenty nine. Uh, yes, they can actually grab Carbos if they fight Youngster Josh. If they fight Josh, they, they should be able to have plenty of enough speed to be able to outspeed uh, Sabrina. So, if they want to take a more riskier route in Mount Moon, it's going to be a little bit rough. But, um, other than that, it, sh it shouldn't be too much of a big deal. You just got to X-speed on the turn before. Mm -hmm. yeah, just one extra turn. Not too scary of a fight regardless. Um, and it and looks yeah, like... They're all three on the rival fights. Ooh, turn one growl by Zan. Oof. We're hoping not to see any growls, but, uh... Maybe you'll get a crit and this will all be alright. Looks like big Kick Rocker's Randall. Ooh, big crit. Oh, and get crits back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and so, they're about even in terms of okay. you know, Randall and Zan. I think pretty Randall clean. started the fight a bit later, but ended up tying it up pretty quickly. Yeah, that growl is really brutal. Uh, yeah. But a close race so far, I guess. You know, nothing nothing brutal. No one dying on the first uh, rival fight is uh, an yeah. excellent start. Yeah. Ooh, level four. We do not like that. Gonna run away from it. Makes sense. So, uh, I believe uh, Kid Rocker is might be the only one not going for Late Surge. Uh, as I like to say, we are Late Surge Enjoyers, and then uh, the Church of the Early Surge. Uh, Kid Rocker is part of the Church, so uh, 
We're gonna see that at least on one side to see if uh, Surge will be very kind to him. But uh, I believe Randall and Xan are both gonna be late Surge. It's so uh, they should be both going for bubble uh, based yeah. off the strats for Sammy. Randall did just get a crit on that Pidgey, turning it into a two shot instead of a three Ooh, shot, I believe. Which two was shot nice. bird. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, another one. Level four. Level four, unfortunately. Um, I actually, I do believe that Kid Rocker should also probably go for Bubble, that since he's modest, but uh, I guess it's really just up to him if he decides to do it. Mm -hmm. I guess the extra, um, the extra EV I don't even think helps too, too much, so it's not like the biggest end of the world, but... I think Randall definitely got the most encounters on that route, from what yeah, it Yeah, easily. Like. Yeah. Zan kind of making a comeback now, but again, you kind of need those encounters at some point or another, especially if you're going for bubble. Uh, did Randall get bubble? Did you actually see that? Uh, he has not yet. I think he's only killed the one Pidgey. Okay. So yeah, based off their HPs, I don't know if he's gonna decide to just uh, kill a... Oh, yep, it looks like he's going to try to get another county here to get bubble. Oh, uh, just this just in, uh, Randall did not do that on purpose, but I guess it does work out. We'll, uh, we'll cut that part of the VOD, you know, that was all intentional. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing it was to see intentional, here. he's got bubbles. That's all, that's all you really need. Yep. Alright, they got their Pokeballs, so let's hope for the best. Uh, I don't. We. I think we only got one level seven so far. I think everyone else is level six. Yep, I believe that's right. So yep. Now everybody's looking for their flyers and their cutters, trying to get the HM users, hopefully early on, just so that you don't have to deal with it later. Ooh, tackle miss. Yeah, Kid Rocker immediately <laughs> missing on that Pidgey. Nice Input crit, though. Crit, that's gonna help. That should make the catch pretty likely. 78% or so. It looks like Xan is killing uh, a rat here to be able to uh, get bubble. Yep. Instead of catching, which is uh, very nice. And Kid Rocker's already got a Pidgey. Alright. Uh, the good thing is, is that if Xan doesn't get another encounter here, he's actually pretty decent HP, assuming he doesn't get poisoned by, uh, Sammy. Uh, he'll be at 6, which would be, uh, should be Torrent. Uh, so he can maybe potentially have a cleaner fight for Sammy, but it's also a little bit more riskier, because you're kind of risking crit. And with, uh, his HP, where it's at now, he's gonna be taking 3 poison instead of 2. Mm -hmm. So, it, it can be extremely risky. Uh, as he took, he's probably gonna potion before the Sammy fight. Ooh, he's got level 4 rad, but he's got bubble. Yeah, I saw Xan kill another Pidgey. I wonder if that was intentional, or it might have been that he didn't realize he was in Torrent. I'm not sure if he intended to catch that or not. Uh, he caught it or killed it? He killed it. Yeah. Oh, I believe Xan did bubble and it might have been, yeah. Might have missed it. I don't think it really matters too, too much, only because of the fact that uh, I don't think being level 12 for Onyx does anything, because I think that's, like, the quote-unquote only benefit, but... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really... Uh, I don't think it really helps the range too much. We got a level 2 bird as a 1% from Randall. But, I guess you can't really complain. If you're going to get a 1% as a thing you got to catch, level 2... Alright, we got Kid Rock in the forest now. Ooh, breakout. Break uh, Sad. Rando oh, no. with a double breakout. No shakes on that one, I think. I hope we don't see him use up all the Pokeballs on this bird. Uh, a third breakout. What's he gonna do here? He's, he's, gonna he's got a potion. potion. Oh, oh he's, he's risking he's gonna it. Throw a ball. This could be bad. All and right. the 
fast ball gets in. Ooh. Already. <laughs> <laughs> Scary moments in this first 10 minutes of the race. Oh, it wasn't one. I thought he was uh, past the um, uh, the old man uh, teaching you how to catch a Pokeball. I, I thought it was a 1%, but it was not. He actually just caught the bird. Looks like uh, Kid Rocker's gonna get the safety potion, which is probably pretty smart. Yep. He's got a he's got a pretty nice lead so far. It's not a bad idea to play it safe. And yeah, Kid Rocker going into Sammy. I believe this is Zan's third encounter in the forest. It's pretty rough so far. You may even get a fourth based off his positioning. Yeah. Nice getting that second. Uh, nice safety potion is very good. Yeah. Kid Rocker missing a tackle and not getting poisoned yet. He did get one in 16 by that poison sting, though. Yeah. I oh, he got to crit. a crit! No poison yet, it's gonna heal here, which makes sense. And now he's gonna get string shot in the face, uh, repeatedly. Yep. Which is, uh, the most gruesome thing in the world, but, uh... Ooh, we got a, p a poison from Zan, though. Yep, Zan got a turn two poison, which should be pretty helpful. Should just be able to spam bubble. Might have to heal. Depends. Smart play, healing before heal. just in case he gets a Pika. Yep. You don't wanna, you don't wanna just die. Full HP though, going into uh, Liam. Not, uh, not gonna be too, too good. Yeah, but... that's gonna make Brock really, really annoying for Kid Rock. I think the only real bad outcome is if you get sand attacked a couple times, but um, other than that, hopefully it's going to be relatively safe. At least you might not even have to save for Liam. Yep. Actually, Zan no, is... you should definitely save. Zan is not too far behind Kid Rocker now. Andy's been poisoned, so he can get down to exactly the HP he wants before Liam. And Randall is just now starting the Sammy fight. Could be at 5 HP Zan, and he's gonna have perfect horn throughout the entire fight of both Liam and uh, Brock, assuming he does not get scratched by this Sandshrew. Which, do you know the odds of scratch from Liam? I believe it is a 1 in 3. I think it's uh, defense curl, scratch, and sand attack, so. I see. But I very well could be wrong. I believe that is 1 in 3. I don't know if it's a higher odds if you're higher HP. We'll see here in a sec. Randall getting poisoned last turn, just in time. Very nice. Beautiful. Good timing. Okay. Kid Rocker getting scratched, just not getting sand attack trolled yet. Okay, that's Double scratch. not the worst outcome. Yeah, for that HP, seems to... Ooh, does Wait, he missed the range. Hit the three shot, that's really unfortunate. Okay, just... Got a hit. And okay. okay. A little bit... Oh, Xan actually dying. I believe he missed the two shot on Sandshrew and got... I don't know if that was double scratch? Uh, it was either double scratch or uh, scratch 1 in 16. I think I saw him at 1 HP before the scratch, so he probably oh, got okay. scratched once. Yeah, he must have missed the range. Yeah. Alright, Kid Rocker going into Brock. Yep. Uh, he's not level 11 for this Geodude, so I don't- he does not- uh, he's not able to one-shot it, because he's not in Torrent, but... Overall, maybe he gets a tackle here, it wouldn't even be too bad. Nice. Okay. 
Zan, okay, hitting the range on Sandshrew, but did get scratched. Yeah, more likely he's gonna have to potion on Onyx. Yep. He doesn't want to risk that uh, Rock to miss. Good Rocker getting a Bind crit. Bind crit. I believe he, unless he takes, oh, and headshot. Crits the Onyx. Huge fight from Kara right there. Going into the gym at such high HP and ended up working out fairly well. All right. Randall did get sand attack, but did not miss the bubble. So he luckily is uh, he is through with Liam. Going on to Brock. All right, Kid Rocker is not leaving uh, the gym with uh, with Torrent, so he's gonna have to pray to Colton that Colton uh, can either tackle him, which I believe. Even with a, he needs a 1 in 16 tackle in order to get Torrent, or uh, he needs to get Poison Stinked as well in order to uh, keep Torrent for the rest of the route. Okay, and Zan is potioning on Onyx. So yeah, Randall and Zan are pretty similar. A oh, crit Rock Tomb. He's going for it. Gonna need to hit, hit the, the range. range. He's level 12. It no! Does not hit the range. And went for and... the risk, yeah, with Rock Tam. I don't think any other potions left. Yep. You're right. Okay, and now, yeah, Randall is back in second place. Using withdrawal. Randall withdrawing. Alright, he's at a good HP. Crit? Yeah. Good fight. That's a solid fight from Randall. Randall should be able to start catching up now that he has Torrent, uh, assuming that Kid Rocker uh, cannot get torn off this first fight here in the next route. Yeah, he got potential to catch up pretty quickly here. Yeah, Zan kind of off to a rough start with a death to Liam and Brock already. Gonna tackle the stall turn, which makes sense. Wood drawing. Okay. Switch drawing again. Did I see that right? No. Gold crit. And it looks like Kid Rocker is now in turn for pretty much the rest of this route. Yeah. He got a very nice poison sting. Long. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and Xan is through Brock. Okay, that does confirm it. Randall is going for late surge uh, with selling that rock tomb. Mm -hmm. And gonna, he's gonna buy uh, the non traditional uh, three of everything uh, seven potions and seven revives. And we got Xan's through at a uh, decent HP. He will at least have Torn for the first fight. Kid Rocker just kind of, you know, rolling his way through. Yeah, like you said, he's got Torrent, clicking water guns, making his way to Mount Moon. Now, I cannot 100% recall what type of, uh, if they have a bird or a rat or anything like that. Uh, I do believe Randall does have a bird for sure. Um, yes. I think Kid After. Rocker has a rat. I haven't, yeah, I haven't seen what Kid Rocker has. Randall definitely has a bird after a few tries. And oh. I don't know what Xan has. Randall actually has both, so he, uh, depending on so, Randall uh, can very easily catch up depending on the luck if Kid mm -hmm. Rocker needs um, a bird or not. Yeah, Kid Rocker only has one extra mon, it looks like, based on the Pokeballs. So depending on this, if Kid Rocker does not need a bird, he is in a good position to fight uh, Rocket Spinner. Um, yeah, he's at a decent HP with being 30 defense. Modest. Shouldn't really have a problem with that. Uh, we'll see everyone else's situations. See, does he go for bird? No, he needs a rat. So he is probably gonna fight Rocket, or you might fight Hiker, but um, 
I think it's more leaning towards uh, probably fighting Rocket here. Right, Kid Rocker first into Mount Moon. But yeah, like you said, that's gonna lose a little bit of time trying to catch a cutter later. Whereas Randall is just gonna be speeding on through. Cleanly passed to that scientist. Very nice. Yeah, these HP differences are very interesting. Randall, I believe, is a level higher than Xan, but um, has less HP still just because of those pretty significant differences in HP IVs. Which yeah, B and 10 is kind of risky, I ain't gonna lie. Uh... I think that's probably the lowest HP I think I've seen out of all the tournaments so far is 10 HP. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll see how that plays out later. Um, yeah, and especially in some of the scarier fights. Kid Rocker did end up fighting Hiker. Uh, playing it a, lot, a little bit more safely, which is very understandable. Yeah. You know, you don't want to get, uh... You don't want to get crit by, uh, Hyper Fang. Or, yeah, Hyper Fang, yeah. I believe Zan has one more trainer to go before he is in Mount Moon. Yep, and Randall just now entering. So, honestly, pretty close all around. It's, you know, maybe a minute or two between uh, Zan and Kid Rocker right now. I'm Randall somewhere in the middle. But again, yeah, depending on Kid Rocker's luck getting a another HM user could cause more of a gap. Yeah, you might get four sparrows in the in the grass, you never know. Yep. Ooh, he's fighting Risky Josh! Yep, this is Josh from Randall. He's at- uh-oh. There's one quick attack. I think he is fine though. I think 7 HP is still fine. Let me just double check real quick. Uh, ah, uh, yeah, I Another think Another quick attack. Oh, Oof. wait. If any of these are crits, uh. they're gonna kill. Oof. I read the notes wrong. It was if he got with Tail Whips, he would have been dead. But, he's at a decent HP once he evolves. He'll be a uh, 9 out of... 9 out of 46. Oh, oh he got crits! Gosh. He got crits by the Zubat! Missed the range! He missed, missed the, 10 and the range, range on Zubat into Leech Life Crit. That is. I don't know what he's gonna and do. It looks like he <laughs> did not save, so he's taking the death. He's gonna be spawning yeah. back in Mom. Yeah, he's just. All he can do is spam tackle with Pidgey here, it looks like. <laughs> missed a tackle anyways, but even if you get through this, what uh, what are you supposed to do? I guess you can leave and go take the center, but yeah, it would be pretty hard to win this he fight He technically regardless. could go f further and get the revive and, and then revive if he was able to make out of this fight, but he would lose a lot of XP, so it's yeah. one of those things you probably have to fight a um, another, another poke. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a tough time loss for Randall. Yeah, not too doing, bad. doing the Josh fight without saving. Um, yeah, that was that was pretty yeah. risky. Yeah. But the, also, you never know how that fight's gonna go, man. Sometimes you get no quick attacks, and sometimes you get two, and it's just one of those things. Yep. Man. Shouldn't be too bad, though. He, uh... Luckily, he does have Repel, so getting back into Pewter is not... The biggest end of the world. He will sadly be probably a minute to a minute and a half behind, but uh, easily still playable. Yeah, it's not a. It's still honestly a pretty close run, but yeah. I mean, he arguably could have been in the lead considering he already has his two extra mons, but at this point, that's probably gonna put him behind. Um, but yeah, not terribly far. Um, yeah, I wonder if that. Zubat 
crit mattered. I don't know how much leech life uh, Zubat, only does. Zubat does too, so he was dead either way. But the crit just ended up being icing on top of the cake. Yep. Or was... He might have been at... I don't remember if he was at 2 or 4 HP. He was HP. at 7, got quick attack to 2. Yeah, he was at 2 HP, so he was... If he, he had to hit that range. Oh, he was 4. Oh, apparently... He leveled up after he was the... Four. Might have leveled up Yes, he did. He did level rat. up out. You do level up out of the second rat. Yes. Okay, so he was 4 and then got crit. Yeah, that, that, that was just epically brutal. Yeah. Oh, Kid Rocker getting a Sand Shrew pretty quick. Uh, he bubbled it, bubbled, which is a guaranteed killed. kill on Torrance. That's unfortunate. He might have thought he was out of Torrent, or... Or right, got was, level 12 is he in Torrent? Uh, yeah, uh... Oh. 46, 48, yeah. Yeah. Er, wait, what is... I can't do He that. was out? Oh, no, he, yeah, he was out of Torrent. Because he was at 18 oh, 54. HP. Is one off. Yeah. One off. Commentator cannot do math. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it was... Can't anything by three. Okay. But at level six, apparently that Sanctuary was pretty low. It can die anyways. Um, but it looks like he's got another one. Or, yeah, found something else pretty quick. Uh, Randall getting a Paris, I believe. He did get a one encounter. Yeah. He is fighting Rocket now, which is uh, a good idea. Yep. Poison gas miss over on Zan's side. Very nice. Oh, that's It would have brought him down to one, but... Yep. but that would have been a whole extra menu. Yeah. Everything, definitely. And it's already scary enough. You gotta heal the poison, and you gotta heal. It, it would have been just yeah. incredibly scary. Yeah. And apparently he got disabled because he is using bubble, so that's also a pretty nasty scientist fight. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Kid Rocker just getting ready for Misty's, kind of just trucking along, no major problems so far. He did not save for Misty, but Misty is a relatively easy fight, so hopefully this will go well for him. And it rightfully should. No save for Misty. He water did get pulse. turn one Water Pulse, though. Could have been scary. Confuse. And he's gonna hope to dodge. Okay. Ooh. No All confusions right. on Kid Rocker's side. But with him having a god defense, he should, uh, Starmie will prioritize being a Water Pulse user. And commentator's just wrong. Gets Swift, interesting. Bad range, though. Yep, it's just gonna go for the tackle. And there's the Water Pulse, maybe it was just an unlucky. Maybe it's just a 50-50. Yeah. Wow, okay, those four Water Pulses from Kid Rocker, no confusions. And, yeah, through Misty. Made it look very easy, actually. Alright, Randall is through the rocket. Evolving. Looking pretty good. Yep. Uh, yeah, Randall definitely the last to evolve. Pretty big level differences here. Now, Zan is at 18. Kid Rocker, I think, is at 21. Yeah, Randall sadly went out of potion, so right now he's just banking on trying not to get any encounters right now. Oh, uh, he's just gotta hope for, yeah, getting out of here, because he had to use repels earlier. That's tough. And yeah, going into the nerd fight as well for Randall. Ooh, that range is not good, but he did get pound. Yeah, and a harden. Okay. Yep. Works out. Not... Good rocker saving for bridge rival. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you kind of have to for rival two. This uh, this rival is very brutal. Yeah. Probably he, all. He is... uh, yeah, all rivals are really brutal, man. All yep. rival, it's just. Yep. 
Especially with Kid Rocker's lead, I would definitely agree with him, you know, saving before any sort of risky fights. He's he got the Witchrew. Witchrew strats coming through. If he hits the kick, he's golden. Missed the first kick into Sleep Powder hit. Classic. Yeah. Does not get leech seed. Good. He has another chance to hit. All right, he's through. Cool. Not too bad on the Bulbasaur. Zan just now starting the Misty fight. Drew the Pidgeotto for Kid Rocker. Water Pulse turn one also for Zan. Two water pulses for Zan. And a fusion. Did he get the prism? He did get the prism. Okay. So he at least gets the snap out of that one. Alright, Randall just now done with Mount Moon. Uh, getting Mega Kick now. And not the best range for the. Yes, yep. Tackling. Another water pulse. No confusion yet. It's Personberry coming Swift in. Swift and beautiful. Very nice fight from KRN Zen. Hopefully, see a three for three on Misty's as Randall approaches the fight. All right. Got Randall starting to go into Misty's gym now. Yep, and then we got Sleeper Bridge coming up for Kid Rocker. Yep, where it doesn't matter what you're doing. Yep, he's just gonna keep pressing the buttons and getting through the fights. Bit by bit. I'm actually curious to see if Kid Rocker uh, kicks his first Oddish. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Could go for Double Bite or could go for a kick with the potential miss, though. Zant is not safe for Rival 2. Oh, wow. That is... Okay. He is trying to catch up. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> this is a bold move from Zant. A little bit mock ass. He did get the Confused. The confused. Does not oh. hit itself. That would have been a very cool first turn. Just gonna heal up. Plays are right, though. Yeah. There it goes. All right. Overall, helped him in the long run. And it looks like Kid Rocker did just double bite that Oddish. All right. Yeah, it's more of a safer play. If he misses that kick, he gets absorbed and potentially could die. Mm -hmm. Got Randall on Starmie now. Get almost gets the headshot. We'll have to get super potioned here. And Zan's through Bulbasaur. Beautiful. Yep. At a decent HP, too. Oh no, he got confused. Randall did he get a Prism? Confused, but he Ooh. did get the Prism. It's a very good backup strat. He missed the range again! <laughs> wow, Randall just not able to finish off this Starmie. There it goes. Fortunately, hitting the tackle. And Zan through rival, or through bridge rival, without saving, I guess. Paid off. All right, yeah, that's some time save then. That's some, that's a, that's a beautiful feeling when it works out for you. Yep. And Randall will be approaching that fight soon. And Zan is now just gonna take on the bridge. Kid Rocker should be. Towards the end, he's got two more fights after this one until he's off the bridge. Yep, yeah, this bridge is called uh, Try Not to Get a Crit, because uh, that's the only time save you really can get after Rival 2. <laughs> yeah. And don't, don't miss your kicks on the Oddish. And Randall doesn't save either on it. Did he he's not? He's, oh. Nope, he's playing balls use as well. But I, I saw him menu, but I wasn't sure what he was going to do. I think he was thinking about it. Yep. 
It's not the worst thing in the world, because I believe as soon as you kill Misty, you do spawn back in Cerulean. So, it's if you do die, it's not the biggest ah. end of the world, but he also has revive, so... Alright, Kid Rocker already on to Rocket Grunt. Just trucking along still. Got Vine with turn one. Yeah. Very risk. He goes for it. Risking the kick and hits Ooh. it. Oof. Beautiful. Some scary fights already. Will he get quick attacked? He does. Does he get crit? No. All right. Randall is through rival two. But they're pretty, pretty good fight, uh, all things considered, being at a yeah. decent HP. Yeah. All runners have had, you know, Randall had some time loss on Misty, definitely, but both, yeah, Misty and Bridge Rival have been pretty clean for all three. All right, it looks like Kid Rocker's gonna about to do the Shiru pass to avoid Dan. And Ooh, he hits it. it. Man. It's part of the tournament, man. You gotta... Yep. It's not that big of a deal, it's slow poke. It's, uh, I think it's either two turn with bite. Oh, it's a one turn. one turn. Yeah. It is a one turn, okay. Yeah. People, I think, can play end up playing that somewhat risky because, yeah, if you do end up hitting it, it's only a one-turn fight. Not too bad. A few more fights for Xan until he's off the bridge. And we have Randall just about to finish the first trainer. All of them are, have very decent HPs, uh, are also in Torrent. Yeah, we're I've... really not seeing any HP problems at all. For the past, yeah, few fights. Oh, there is one thing go good by hitting Dan, is that, uh, Kid Rocker will be in Torrent level 25 for their first audit, so it's a guarantee- Oh, I think almost a guaranteed kill. Let me just double check here, see if it's a guarantee. Randall it isn't kick on 13, the 16. It's a hit. Right, it's the it's the kick. All right. It is an 81 percent chance to kill the um kill the Oddish. So better odds than hitting a kick. Kid Rocker fighting the last trainer before Bill. Time for the Oddishes. Yeah, he is at level 25, so this is an 81 and gets the range. Beautiful. Next like one's not it. so much of a range, but it's a 37. But he's probably just going to kick here. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. He misses the first misses. kick. Yeah, okay. Gets sweet scent, so... Not the end of the world. Misses two kicks. To another sweet son. And he misses the third. Three kicks. Okay. Let's see if it for now goes for a bite. Probably hoping for a flinch. Yep, just finishes it with double bite. That's, yeah, that plus hitting Dan definitely gives Zan some potential to catch up. Yeah, right behind him being uh, three trainers away to where he's at now. Yeah, really not too bad. Has to grab that ether. He's doing early surge, so. Yep. Mostly surges do not have to grab it. 
Randall now going on to the rocket grunt at the end of the bridge. So, also not too far behind, but yeah. It's like KR's just at the end of Route 25 and Randall's just about to start it. So, about one route of difference. Um, KR definitely in a comfortable lead, I would say. Oh, uh, so yeah, he about, about a minute lead, I, I would say. Yeah. Definitely. Still no reason to play anything too risky. It's just keep going, hope for nothing crazy to happen. Yeah, like even missing all those kicks, still not the end of the world. No, definitely not. And it looks like Xan is also level 25 for this uh, Haley to be able to kill the first Oddish. Yeah, we'll see if he's prepared to go for that. She should be. Yep, does go for the water pulse and hits the range. Sun. Beautiful. Not bad at all. Actually, can't say beautiful just yet. There's still another Oddish. Let's we'll see yeah, if this, this kick is hits. This is the problematic Oddish. And all right. it first turn hit, so much better fight there than what Kid Rocker had, definitely. Randall risking it, going YOLO Dan, gets through. Very nice. Kid Rocker hits his kick on the Drowsy. Not bad. Alright. And Xan is through. Now grabbing the Aether saves a little time from that. Yep. Everyone should look at the Clefairy. They, uh, they levitate to the teleporter. Doesn't move at all. The Clefairy is a magical being from the moon, it makes sense that it can fly. And with that, uh, Kid Rocker is up a minute 30 on Xan, based off of uh, Bill coming out. Yep. But easily can be turned around because he has to do Surge, never know how Surge is going to be, and Rival 3. Alright. Grabbing Citrus. Makes sense. Wanley Strats. Yep. Citrus very nice for this early Surge. At least could be, could be very helpful. Right. Randall just now done with his flint fight. And also going on to the Oddishes. It's a quick attack, hopefully the- okay. Very nice. Randall was not able to go for the Water Pulse, only being at 25, but hit the kick anyways. We got a kick from Drowsy here in a minute, and it hits. Beautiful. Hits. Very nice kicks from Xan so far. Randall hitting... I believe he hit both kicks there on the Ah, uh, Yes, I do believe he did hit both kicks. So, yeah, both of them had fairly standard Haley fights. No big problems. Alright, and Kid Rocker's now on the boat, getting ready to start Rival 3. I believe he's at a very good HP, but I think he is uh, sadly dead to Vine Whip uh, turn 1, but I could also be wrong. It don't, it's 100% a matter. Yeah, he's definitely dead, Divine Whip. Okay. Alright, Randall just now letting Bill out. So, yeah, probably, you know, no more than a couple minutes between each runner. Nothing that Surge can't, can't affect, or the Elite Four later on. Oh man, E4. Don't we don't, don't get me started with that, man. E4, uh, they give me nightmares, man. That's <laughs> exciting. So it looks like he's gonna do the water pulse strat into Super Potion. Uh, I believe he is still gonna be a tad bit above half, so he might still get sleeved into Leech Seed after this first Vine Whip. He's gotta hit this flinch. Doesn't hit it. 
and sleep. got hit by the sleep powder. Yep. Into Vine Whip. Okay, wait, there's another chance here. And hits the kick. Beautiful fight. Nice. Not bad. Having to heal the sleep, but... Ooh. Randall missed the kick on Drowsy. Oh. Hey, gets the crit, crit headshot. Okay. Not a bad backup. Yeah, that Drowsy could definitely have been annoying. Alright, KR just now done with Boat Rival. Zan saving. saving makes a lot of sense. I'm about to start. So, right out one rival fight between the two. And, and it's completely different strats because uh, Zan does take the boat heal. So, uh, it's completely yep. different strats in terms of uh, trying to get into Torn to be able to go to Rock Tunnel. So we'll see if this bird be nice to him and not sand attack him. Quick attack turn one is beautiful. Copper water pulse. Yep. No sand attack. Trolling from that. And now, yep, Kid Rocker taking the late boat heal right before he's about to leave. Beautiful fight from Zan. Gets the sleep. He is now. He's in risk of crit, but this should do a nice amount of HP, and he is through Ivysaur. Yep. No deaths yet. It's just Randall left to get through it. Randall had to go back into the shop. Normally, uh, Late Surge does not go back in the shop, but since he had to use a couple extra revives, he does have to come back and... Uh, use the shop at least for this point, which isn't too big of a deal. In and out. And Kid Rocker starting Surge. Hopefully yep. for good cans. The early Surge. Let's hope for... What a trooper. Cans. Nothing yet. Going around. It's just hoping for one of these. Still no dice. All right, yeah, and we got I Randall drink. starting. Yep, I believe he did save. Makes sense for this fight. Pretty good and range, nice flinch. Very nice from Randall. Zan just now leaving the boat. Alright, Kid Rocker did find his first can. Hit the kick. Not the best range, but got leech seated. You might have to go for another kick here. Yep, goes for another and misses. misses. And another sleep powder hit. This is gonna be tricky for Randall. Yeah, gonna have to switch out. Kid Rocker did get his 1 in 3 second can, did not have to reset to his save. So he's already in the fight. So far, not too bad. At all. Through Voltor with no damage. Yeah, Randall having to sacrifice both of his other mons hits the final kick very good all right raichu has double teamed hits the water pulse and now it's... has to hit the kick through a double team misses, misses. this is scary uh it's the range, yeah it's a range to die oh he's alive he's alive and, and he hit kills. the water pulse very nice I guess he did not equip the Citrus Berry there. No, he, he did actually. I did see him menu to equip the Citrus Berry, but I guess he maybe was just a little bit uh, too high of HP oh. for the Citrus to proc. Yep, you're right.
I thought it would... It's interesting it didn't proc at the end of the fight, though. I'm not sure what happened with that. But yeah, Kid Rocker through Surge, honestly, not bad at all for how scary early Surge can be. And getting his bike back. Wow. You know how lucky Kid Rocker got with that Citrus Berry? He was 1 HP off. It's, it's when it's below 50%, he was 40 out of 79. Oh, very unfortunate. So, it, it almost... Oh man, that was, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of crazy, but, uh... Either way, it does work out for him, he does get torn, he's at a decent HP, uh, going into Alicia. Yep. It looks like Xan's having a nice time... ...so far with her. Yep, and this is where the... Routes kind of differentiate for now. Zan and Randall will just be saving Surge for later. Kid Rocker getting his bike. While Randall's getting the voucher. Sadly, Zan is not in Torrent, so he's going to have to double bite this. Um, this kick has a really bad range, uh, being late surge. So, we'll see how this goes out for him. Hopefully he does not get confused. Okay, going for the bite. Poison powder. Poison powder, okay. A little bit annoying, but... Could have been worse. Actually, it kind of manipulated his HP to being relatively good as long as he could get past Martha. So, uh... It's actually yeah, that, oh, that's a good pretty point. Good. That will give him Torrent. Sam having to pick up the chest of Barry, he's had to wake up way too many times. Yep. We got the second kick here coming up for Kid Rocker on this Oddish, and he hits. Randall, now the... Getting the bike. Not too far behind Zan. Randall opting to run instead of bike. There you go, now he's on the bike. Beautiful pass by Kid. Connor, just moving along. And Zan Yen, now in Rock Tunnel. Nice flinch. He needs to, he needs to stay at this HP. Yep, he can't really that, get too much lower. That was a that was a very nice flinch. 4 and 16 range, I believe. Yeah. Hitting the reg Mega Kick on Randall's side. I believe also Kid Rocker did go for yeah. the kick on Ven Venonat, missing it, getting Torrent though. Yeah, honestly, these poisons are helpful for HP. Kid Rocker opted to take out a little bit more HP. Not mm -hmm. the biggest world since he did early surge, so it's a little bit better. Right, the di yeah, the differences in XP and level are gonna kind of determine what HP exactly they want to have. Randall going for the bite strats on this Oddish, gets sleeped. Yep. He, wait, oh, he doesn't have any awakenings? I guess is out of... Awakenings? I'm not sure what happened there. Just has to wake up. This is... Gonna be really slow. Alright, okay. tur turn to up. sleep. Eighty-three percent rage on the Oddish with bite torrent water pulse hits it. Now you just gotta hit this kick, man. I don't know if you saved before this, but and he's through. Beautiful fight by Zan. Nice. Go 
Good old Martha. Very scary. Some might say even one of the scariest fights that's not a rival fight. Yeah. Especially for late surge. Kid Rock are really not too far behind Xan in Rock Tunnel, and yeah, KR has already done surge, so. He's, yeah, he's, he's kind of cruising along. Good. Yeah. And very nice. Okay, Randall getting the flinch on the Venonat. So no poison issues from him. The rocker's a little low, but that's should be good as long as he, uh, I don't know if he's going to save. He's not saving for Martha. Alright, let's see if this can go well for him as well. So far, oh. no crazy issues from him. Ooh, Good play flinch. flinch is nice. Come on, Kid Rocker, hit this kick. Hits it's the kick. The kick. Wow. Very clean Marthas. And he has beautiful HP for the rest of this rock tunnel and for Giovanni's. Yeah, uh, this is game corner. It's looking awesome for KR. Okay, Randall also not killing that slow poke. One in four. Not a great range. Randall now speeding through Rock Tunnel, trying to catch up. I mean, yeah, they all three runners are in Rock Tunnel right now, so this is still relatively close. Yeah, it's still I, everyone. It's it's definitely anyone's game right here. Yeah, Kid Rockers does have an a, amazing amount of of a lead, but yeah, um, very well can turn to anyone's favor. Yeah, at this point, yeah, you're definitely looking at, yeah, you know, potential deaths on Koga, potential rival fights, Elite Fours, all things that can lose, you know, up to a minute at least. Oh yeah, easily. Alright, Randall is saving for Martha. Which probably should be pretty smart going into this. Yeah, this is the only save for Martha out of the three. Biting and flinching. Beautiful. Can bite. Oh, and no, missing he missed the range. range. Still <laughs> flinching. Interesting. But, you know, double flinch ended up working Can out. Can he hit this kick? Hit the kick! No! The kick. Sleep powder! Sleep he got the powder chest still, though. Hit. Did get the chest out. Stan's coming up, and it's on the last trainer of Rock Tunnel. It has one more kick as well to hit, and misses. Hits the second mega kick for Randall. Beautiful. Yep. At a decent HP. Not Randall torrent, though. Randall is, yeah, alive, but definitely kind of the worst Martha of the three. Zang getting poisoned on this Oddish. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's a very good poison. Yeah, this will a... keep his HP solid. Maybe manipulated enough to where he evolves and he will be in torn for Giovanni 1. Assuming he does not get quick attacked by the Vulpix and the Raticate. Alright. 
right, it looks like Kid Rocker's about to start the last trainer in Rock Tunnel. Yep, Zan just leaving. Zan is definitely looking pretty good here after the... Um, yeah, after some scary no-save fights for, you know, Misty. And, I, yeah, he did no-save for the bridge rival as well, but it ended up paying off. Yeah, it's definitely paying off. Uh, I like the risk, you know, he's, he's got to stay ahead. Yeah. It's the kick for Kid Rocker, beautiful. Looks like Kid Rocker is now finally out of Rock Tunnel. Yep, that uh, should be, yep, the last fight. Leaving now. Moving along on that bike. And yeah, doing the shopping. Yeah, even Ooh. with early surge, he's really only maybe a minute or so behind Zan. In terms of yeah, it's an uh, amazing run coming from Kid Rocker right now. Yeah. Uh, one thing that does interest me is that Zan did buy seven uh, super potions while in the lavender uh, shop. And usually the notes only code for four, so I don't know how that math equates to whenever he needs to buy X, uh, X specials in the um, Celadon Mart, but we'll see how that actually ends up going for him. All the super, po super potions are really nice. So. Yeah. That is a good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder if he, because you buy I... you buy seven super repels, right? Yeah. You buy su you bought uh seven seven super potions, one antidote, four escape ropes, and seven super repels. Okay. I wonder. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we'll sell extra items later or something. I don't know. It's a lot of backup that he's losing out by getting these super potions. Um, a lot of uh, X specials he's not going to be able to uh, afford if, for instance, he uh, dies on Lorelei. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, if he has to reset up on any of these fights, he might run out. And some might say Xan is now starting one of the most fun movements in this game is these uh, little pads. The Very spinner. difficult, but... The spin pads. Very cool. Plays it nice and safe, makes sure no optional is beautiful. Yep. I like it. And yeah, on to the lift key. Let's see, with Kid Rocker's current HP, when he evolves, he'll be at 111 HP. Uh, I believe he should be in Torrent. Uh, for when he evolves, which would be pretty nice. And since he's doing early surge, uh, he can guarantee the Arbok range. Or not guarantee, but at least it's not, It's it can be a one shot and not a two shot. Randall now doing his shopping in Lavender. Yeah, only buying the four super potions. Four escape ropes. And the seven super repels. Yeah, I do almost wonder if if Zan got the numbers mixed around in his head, or if he's, uh, yeah, just planning on kind of shopping differently later on. We'll yeah, you see. might be accustomed to it, so, you know, everyone has their own strats, uh, from the original, so... Mm -hmm. And with that, uh, Kid Rocker is pretty close behind Xan now. Yeah, this is not far behind at all. Already with Surge done from Kid Rocker. Xan not 
done with Surge yet. We'll do that later. Same with Randall. Overall, pretty cl uh, clean two little fights here. Uh, pretty much mostly guarantees, except for the Arbok at the last on the right trainer. Yep, Arbok is, yeah, really the only scary one. Yeah, they're, wow, they're really only about one fight away. Randall just about to enter the rocket hideout. Actually, uh, I just calculated it. Uh, Kid Rocket does not have, he's off by 2 HP for Torrent. He's really close, but we'll sadly not have Torrent for uh, the King of Scon going into it. Mm -hmm. So he might want like a fake out or something. Exactly, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Gets the flinch, beautiful. All right, yeah, and right. no problems with Armok. Going into Giovanni. Randall did just get into Rocket Hideout. Yep. Probably a few minutes behind Zan. And yep, Zan will now be evolving. Kid Rocker now on the Arbok as well. And just killing with Water Pulse. Yeah, the one positive thing about uh, Early Surge, if you do not have any mistakes in Surge, is that range is pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Helps out. Can be very scary with Poison. Santa's starting Giovanni while... Uh... Wait... Randall's fighting the Lifkey, yeah. Randall just doing his puzzle, okay, and now Kid Rock are already on Giovanni as well. Two Pokemon away. Yeah. S separates the difference. See how this Kangaskhan goes. Here goes Kangaskhan. Does not have Torrent, so yeah, that's not gonna two shot. Gets double bite, pretty clean. Yeah. He will have Torrent for Surge, so he does not have to X spec. Yeah, pretty clean Giovanni from Zam. Rocker now and getting fake out, which is good. Now he's in torn now. It's a two torn. shot. Yeah. He might be dead to mega punch. I don't know the range 100%. No, he does not. Beautiful, clean. Oh, yeah. Mega punch should be doing, yeah, maybe 25 max. Might, yeah, it depends on his defense. Mega punch for his stats do 21 to 24. So I believe he was good. And Zan, yeah, getting getting fly. Right, uh, Kid Rocker accidentally uh, went to the third floor instead oh. of the fifth floor. Oh no. It looks like Kid Rocker is going to be doing X attack strats. One great thing about doing early search is you have all this extra money to get all these extra uh, uh, X items. Yep. 
That's huge for potential backups later. Alright, Randall now on the Arbuck, just before Giovanni. Just doing bite into Water Pulse, no problems there. And now we're going to start to get to the point where Kid Rocker's lead is really going to skyrocket here. Now he yeah. does not have to do Surge compared to everyone else right now. Yep. The, yeah, the route should start converging relatively soon within the next, you know, five to ten minutes. And yeah, that, that lead will probably look pretty drastic for Kid Rocker. Kid Rocker getting denied by the Fly Girl. Said nope. Sorry. We got a Blastoise coming up, and Xan on his way after getting the T to go to Surge. Okay, R using a potion to set up HP, equipping black glasses, and yeah, just getting ready for uh, Lavender Tower, it looks like. Randall almost on his Kangaskhan. I believe he is a bite away from being in Torrent as well, so... Xan doing cans and Kid Rocker doing Lavender Tower rival. Okay, well, Xan getting the middle can, so Ooh. it'll be a 1 in 4 for him to find the second one. And gets it, first try. Beautiful. Yeah. No need to soft reset at all. And yeah, Zan will now just be going into late search. Kid Rocker almost risking that crit, but he kind of has to so you can one-shot the Gyarados. Uh, funny enough, uh, I did a run yesterday and I missed a 1% kick on the Growlithe. And I got Ember burned. I've never seen that before, <laughs> ever. And, uh, so maybe today we will not hopefully see that because that was pretty, uh, pretty dramatic. All right, Randall is now getting fly. He'll be going to surge pretty soon as well. And yeah, Xan should just be able to clean up with late surge, definitely a much easier fight to do it later than earlier. It looks like Kid Rocker is th through at a decent HP. He might need an Orin Berry before Koga. Yeah, Kid Rocker should not really be too worried for the rest of this section. Just going through, clicking water moves. He's he's pretty solid with torrent. All right, looks like after Zan's menu, Kid Rocker will be up by about two minutes and forty-five seconds. Wow. Okay. That is Kid Rocker solid. did start ending Lavender Town at one ten, ten. So uh, might even be almost close to three minutes. And flying there right now. Yeah, it'll be right at a three minute cap, which, yeah, that's pretty huge. Um, yeah, Kid Rocker can definitely afford to keep playing safe, get to the, the number one spot for this race. Um, but again, the advancing is based on uh, overall times compared to everybody, so. Yeah, it's still, it's still anyone can, all three of these people can uh, end up actually being into the tournament for round two. Yep. So, you know, there's no need for Xan to play super risky in order to advance. Um, he should just be able to play, you know, solid and get a pretty decent time on this run. Uh, one little special thing about Kid Rocker also as well as being 10 HP, he is kind of risking... Um... 
Uh, I actually, I just, no, speaking of which, I, Randall just got a 1% in the grass. Yeah. Um, Kid Rockers had a very bad HP for the Ratatats in the last fight of uh, the tower. So I don't know if he wants to Orin beforehand but or not, but uh, or even Potion. Potion might be even safety, pretty good safety. Oh, out of fear of quick attack, that is, y yeah. Yeah, for the two rats at the very end. Yep. And he looks like he is taking the safety potion, which is pretty good. Xan is on his rival fight, hitting all his kicks. Randall oh, is now looking for cans. Or, he, no, he got his cans already. Looks like it wasn't too bad for him. Yeah, sorry for almost cutting you off. That growler gives me nightmares, man. After yesterday, dude, I I can't I can't even stand to look at him right now. Ember burn. Yeah, hey. one percent one percent kick miss into Ember burn. How did it take the pad to heal? Full HP for Koga, baby. What a dream. All right, Randall now on surge. Yeah, Randall is definitely might need to play some risky stress if he wants to make a comeback. But again, yeah, it's all going to depend on what time he thinks he can get, what he's comfortable with. Um, but yeah, like you said, Kid Rocker going into the tower at about 110 will put him. Um, yeah, being six minutes behind. Yeah, is... about six. Six, six and a half minutes behind, give or take. Everything's pretty certain for, us, for the rest of this tower. It's uh, just making sure that you don't accidentally hit water gun on the goal bat. Yep. Like me. That, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be very scary. Usually calculating my HP for Koga, and then I accidentally water gun the cold bat into Confuse Ray, and then you, uh, you're having a pretty bad time. Alright, and it looks like now Randall is finally traveling to Lavender Town after checking his Pidgey stats. Yep, just making sure he didn't get Poker Rust or something. You never know. You never know. Yeah, Randall now entering Pokemon Tower. Let's see if the rats would have been nice to him. Looks like the first rat he is through. Yep, and even with a crit, he's not really scared of this second one at all. Because he did take that heal earlier. Yeah, very right. solid from Kid Rocker. No issues. Randall be also being at a pretty good HP going into Rival. Should be at solid HP for Kogo coming up. Yep, Randall and Zan should both be pretty fine for the rest of Tower. Zan has clicked Water Pulse, not Water Gun, on the Gold Bat. Oh, very nice. So much better than me. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's funny, I think out of the four races, I think I've done that twice. Yeah. And they both got water at the start, you know, it's, it's hard to... Yeah, it's hard to read, you know, sometimes when it's on your screen and everything like that, you know, you just get confused, you know, it's just... You know, mm -hmm. they confuse you IRL. It's just one of those things where, you know. Yeah, in the moment, it's not it's not as easy as it looks. Alright, 
Should Rocker go into the biker gang? Good recovery by Kid Rocker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was almost scary, but collected himself. Didn't do any panic options, which is good. Let's see if he has his first try of rare candy. Close. One off. It's surprisingly really hard. Looks easy. Yeah, Especially with all Rock the nerves and everything. Wait, what were you yeah. saying? Uh, Kid Rocker done with Cycling Road, but yeah, getting those one item pickups when they're like one tile. I don't know how fast you go down on those tiles, but it's, yeah, it's not easy. Uh, everyone works differently. Sometimes people stop holding down so they can slow down just a little bit to be able to line it up. Some mm -hmm. people that are gods and can just stop on a whim. It's just really depending on your skill and how much you practice it. The one thing I love to see in this run is, even with all the hardships that Randall's had during this, he still consistently plays slots to try to hit big. Um, <laughs> I'm very, you know, I'm very proud of at least the consistency. He's hoping he needs one to of those, is, yeah, one of those to win and bless the rest of his run. Perfect RNG. And some might say this is not the only chat he's actually doing slots in. He might be also doing slots in another chat. <laughs> yeah, Kid Rocker just flying through the Safari Zone. No problems there. And Zayn waking up the Snorlax. So not too big of a gap there. Now Kid Rocker's are on his way to starting to uh, one of the most uh, scary fights for him at the time being. Everything else would be pretty easy until Sylph, but uh, or of course missing a Blizzard on Erica. But it is Koga time. We all love Koga time. Which yeah, all these different poison moves can always troll and poison you. They do quite a bit of damage. They're kind of scary. Weezing, not guaranteed to die either, even in torrent. Yeah, especially for the early surge uh, people. I believe it is not uh, that good of a range. Let me just check here real quick. It is a six and sixteen uh, with uh, with torrent, so it is not that favorable for you. But he is at a good HP. Uh, he does tank a sludge without poison. Yep, yeah, he's... He's got pretty solid HP, actually. And Randall on the second fight up in the tower, almost done with tower, while Zan's going into uh, Safari Zone. About to grab Surf. Just flying through, getting all the items, no problem. All right, and now we're to, uh, to everyone's fun time. It's called Kogo time. Does not save. Probably has a revive or two. armor okay Ooh. beautiful not bad it looks like Randall is through tower 
Randall is through Tyra, yep, we'll be getting the Poke Flu. Is he going for bite? Does he get the flinch? Does not. Sludge into no, no poison. poison. Beautiful fight. Not bad. Solid at Koga. All. Yeah. No real problems there. Wow, yeah, Kid Rocker just playing very solid. Yeah, he's Dang. on amazing pace. 124 yeah. right now on Koga is really solid for race standards. Yeah. Randall now waking up the Snorlax. And Zan will be starting his Koga fight soon. He does go to level 42, so at least he gets a, uh, I believe it's a 13 and 16 range to kill this Weezing. A lot better than the 6 and 16. Yep. Let me just double check. That was 11 and 16, so... It's a little bit better, but... His HP is pretty similar to what Kid Rocker had, so... He's, yeah, you know, not really scared of anything except crits or poisons. Should be out of sludge range, generally. Randall through Cycling Road, about to go to the Safari Zone. And we got fun time number two for Xan. Kid Rocker's just making his way through the mansion. And onto the mock. Minimize, okay. As long as he can hit the surf. Beautiful. Very nice. Kid Rocker picking up his items and mansion still. Alright, here's the wheezing. And gets the gets the range. Beautiful fight from Zan. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, better than Kid Rockers. Didn't need to uh, bite first. He just got the one shot on the wheezing. One good thing about being higher XP and a late search strat. Yep. Rocker's just answering his questions in Blaine's gym. Randall now on his way to Koga. So there's about a gym's worth of difference between the three. Uh, one thing is for certain though is that uh, Randall does not have any pokes to revive with, so I don't know if he is going to save or not. That's a good point. Yeah, he does not really have any potential backup strats. Any crits or poisons would just, yeah. Ruin his day. Ah, uh, he revives one, so he has one left. Oh, he has two revives left, so he, he will uh, have enough. It's a cool backup strat for sure, in order to avoid any issues. Kid Rock is going to start playing. You should not be scared of the uh, Rapidash Vita, I don't think. I don't think yeah. he's worried about that. No, he should not be worried about that. He did also did not grab Karpa, so he will be X speeding on Alakazam. Yep. Or for Alakazam.
Zan is grabbing the Carbos. I believe he did fight Josh, so he will be able to outspeed Alakazam. Mm. That scientist almost cutting Zan off. Yeah, that's a that's a scary option right there. Kinda goes all over. And yeah, that's Kid Rocker through Blaine. Pretty standard. And Randall saving for Koga. Alright, he is saving for Koga. Should have a relatively, hopefully a relatively easy fight, being level 42. Range is a little bit higher. Uh, I believe he's also at a decent HP. Zan also teaching Blizzard now instead of uh, Kid Rocker will be doing it in Erica's gym. Yep. Done with kicks for both of them. Don't forget to hit yes to Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Don't please. Uh, yeah, he's already spamming B. You already know he's good. He's a pro gamer. Very nice. Alright, Randall through the muck without much issue. And now it's wheezing. Gets, Gets the, the range. range. Beautiful. All three had very solid Kogas. No big problems there. Kid Rocker starting the Erica gym while Xan is midway through Blaine's. Yep. All three in yeah, different gyms right now. Pretty evenly spaced. Not really worried. He's, yeah, you know, he's got good HP. He's just gonna be clicking surfs. The water pulses, no big problems there. Sam looking like being at a good HP that you can do uh, expect surf strats on Erica. It's looking pretty nice. Mm hmm. Randall now on his way to Cinnabar. Gonna be getting what he needs in Mansion. And Kid Rocker now entering the final fight before Erica. Looks like Xan is through Blaine. Yep, just killed the final Arcanine. Yeah, no real problems from any of the runners for the the past several fights. They're all just playing very clean. I don't think we've seen any optionals hit from anybody. Other than Dan in the beginning, but yeah, other than that, it was oh. very clean from rather everybody. Yeah, one Dan, but yeah, other than that, not too bad. Zan not getting on the boat. Good job. Uh, this is coming in for the, the newer viewers coming in. Uh, Randall in the beginning uh, did die to a crit by the Zubat in Mount Moon. Uh, Josh is, uh, and he had to walk all the way back uh, from Mom. And then yep. there was a couple other things that happened uh, in the middle of it. 
Yeah, Randall definitely having a rough start. Um, Zan did have a... I believe he had one death. Or no, he had two deaths in Brock's gym. He had one to Liam and one to Brock, I think. Um, but yeah, Randall having that death to Josh and Mount Moon. Both pretty big time losses for them. And Zan's not too far off. He's uh, He has two tra uh, one trainer before Erica, and then has to fight Erica, and he's basically where Kid Rocker's at right now. He's about probably about a minute behind. Yeah, Zan is... Zan is definitely having the potential to catch up here. He's, yeah, he's chugging along. He's playing well. We're also coming up to one of the scariest fights also in this game is Sylph Rival. Be able to miss a blizzard at 93%. It uh, can definitely screw up your run if you don't save. Yeah, those those 93% are a lot scarier than they sound. For how many times you miss those 95%, you know, with tackles or... Yeah, mud shots in in uh, Hoenn. Yeah, those those percents add up pretty quickly. Well, you know, right now if it's not 100, percent it's basically 50-50. That's right. That's right. All right, Randall through Blaine. Just moving along. And I did Robert not see you. Go ahead. Getting ready to save. I did not see if Zan went for expect strats, and he did. So relatively safe, quick fight, and a nice crit just to add on top of it. Yeah, didn't have to worry about those blizzards. Alright, Zan done with Erica. On his way to catch up with Kid Rocker in Sylph Co. The double X act, not not going for any uh, seven percent this time. Interesting. Puts him at lower health. He does have to take a hit on Sabrina's gym since he does not get the carbo since he did not fight Josh. Right. Yes, he is gonna. Yeah, he's gonna have to X speed in that gym. Whereas, I believe it was yeah, Zan got the carbos. Will not oh yeah, Zan did get the carbos, yes. Yep. Zan will not need to spend a turn on that fight setting up. Zan just waiting for this guy to spin. There he goes. Yeah, Kid Rocker making very good race decisions, you know, deciding to double X accuracy here. Knowing that he's on a good pace makes a lot of sense, I think. Yeah, he did buy seven X accuracies when he was... So he can be able to double X ac uh, one more time uh, throughout this run. He may do it on Lance, he may do it on Viridian Rival. It's really uh, his call. Mm-hmm. Looks like Randall's about to start uh, Erica as well. Yep. Just finishing up that last gym trainer. Zan just now saving for self rival. And yeah, really only about one fight between Zan and Kid Rucker here. This rival fight is, you know, pretty long, but not terrible, all things considered. Then also having a little bit of higher HP, so he will probably be high torrent here. He's going for one. He's going for double X Okay. 
Yeah, so it should be the same fight as Kid Rocker, pretty much. The only thing is, is that Zan used his double X accuracy on this fight rather than someone else, because he does have one less X accuracy compared to Kid Rocker, so he's using it on this fight, which is understandably probably the fight you probably should use it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he will not be able to play fights super safe later on. It could be scary when it comes down to Lance in the last couple moments when you miss a blizzard. Yep. Zan taking out the Gyarados. Fake out. Oh, getting fake out for Kid Rocker. Giovanni has to heal? No. He's, He's going for it. Zerk. Yeah. 32. He's probably going to push him before uh, the Sabrina fights since he does have to X speed. Yep, he's just got to be able to take one hit. Alright, Randall through Erica's gym, now going on to Silphco. Yeah, Randall not too far away from catching up, actually. He'll be entering that Silphrag will fight pretty soon. Kid Rocker did not heal, I believe, did not heal when he did his escape room menu. Ooh, interesting. I wonder if he will just take another menu, or if he will risk it. I don't exactly remember what HP is at. I guess we'll see. I think it was at 10. Okay, he's, he's just gonna push doing it now. Well. I did not know that Randall did not teach Blizzard uh, in Erica's gym. He's teaching it on the rotation of the Silphco guard. Oh, so he, yes, he did do surf strats then for Erica. And Zan now starting Giovanni. Hope for no confusion here from the Venomoth. Does not get it. Beautiful fight. Yep, not bad at all for Kid Rocker. Randall getting ready for self rival. And yeah, I mean, we're entering a pretty much yeah the last 30 minutes or so the race, but there's still quite a few scary fights coming up. We got the biggest fight of them all, lead four coming up. Yeah. Still could be anybody's game. Yeah, there's so much that can go wrong on these fights, definitely. You can hit the Chansey Trainer and a Victory Road, you know. God, who would ever yeah. do that? Not me. Surely. Yeah, surely not me. Uh... Kid Rocker now flying to Viridian. Zan just now entering Sabrina's gym. And Randall should be ready to clean up this rival fight. Kid Rocker's now in the most boring gym of them all. Yep, just go around, spin to win. Spam a bunch of surfs and stuff. Hopefully praying for no crits. That's the only reason, that's only uh, how you get good gold in this split. Yep. Randall not missing any blizzards. No worries on that rival fight. I don't know if he used one or two X accuracies, but... Regardless, he's through the fight. And at a pretty decent HP. Yep. Should be good for Giovanni.
Alright, and Zan just finished off the Alakazam on Sabrina. I don't believe, yeah, I don't believe he had uh, X speed, so that's a, that's a little bit of a comeback in terms of time. Yeah, it's relatively close between Kid Rocker and Zan. They're only a trainer behind after a yep. quick little menu and flying to Viridian. Randall just finishing up this rocket grunt. He's got torrent. I'm good. Yeah, and I believe he does have to X speed, so you will lose a little bit of HP for Giovanni's gym. So that way he can be also be on torrent for the entire time. Yep, that's a good point. Won't level out of it. All right, it looks like Kid Rocker is now finally on Giovanni. Yeah, he's just flying through. This is very solid pace for Kid Rocker still. Zan getting an unfortunate crit. A few seconds of time loss, you know, it adds up. It's the Kangaskhan range over on Randall's side, that's beautiful, even if it's pretty likely in your favor. way to Sabrina's gym. Yep, Randall is chugging along. Will be setting up the X speed though. got all eight badges. He's ready for the Viridian rival battle. Going to the victory road. And then the Elite Four. And that's it for Kid Rocker. He's in the end game. Then right behind him finishing Warren, now going up to Giovanni. He's just gotta hit yep. five more water pulses. Yep. They're really just, yeah. Almost almost exactly one fight behind each other. Very close. Randall threw Sabrina. Took a little bit of damage on that. The uh, Venomoth or whatever he set up on. So, should be continuing to have Torrent. No problems there. Yeah, really no major issues for quite a while. The people have been playing very well. It was really just that early game really set the tone for this race. Yeah, for sure. Kid Rocking opting out, not taking the second accuracy for the rest of this fight. He's gonna save it probably either for Lance or Champ. Yep. All right, hitting his Blizzard, getting that 93%. And Zan done with Giovanni. He is yeah. now have all eight badges and is following Kid Rocker to Viridian Rival. Yeah, if yeah, if Kid Rocker misses, you know, one of these blizzards, that's a that's a big potential chance to catch up for Zan. Definitely. X 
excellent flinch for Kid Rocker. Not worried about any weird shenanigans, rain dance or whatever. I think actually the only positive is getting rain dance, so that way if you can tank a sidekick, yeah, you save an extra turn. Because you can uh, kill the Alakazam for the call mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, with Surf, that is, that is a good point. Yeah, he wouldn't have had to set up on this Growlithe. And Kid Rocker through on his way yep. to Victory Road. Yeah, now it is yeah very much like exactly one fight behind. Any any death or reset or anything from Kid Rocker would probably close this gap between him and Zan. But his pace is really solid. He should be on a 208 pace. Yeah, if everything goes right for him. Yeah, that is not bad at all. Um, Randall finishing up Giovanni's gym. He's on Warren, I believe. Yes, he is finishing up Cool Trainer Warren. About to get his eighth gym badge from Giovanni. Uh, there is some confusion uh, in the live chat. This is live. This is not. No one here is doing a pre-recorded run. Everyone is doing the uh, the run currently. Uh, just to clear up any confusions on that. That is very true. I believe these runners might even be live streaming it themselves on their own channels potentially. Exactly. Uh, very well. But yeah. This is real-time gaming, right here. Kid Rocker teaching strength. Getting ready to move these boulders in Victory Road. He's gaming. He's flying through. And Randall getting an unnecessary crit on Giovanni. But almost done. Just gotta take out a couple more mons. And Zan is through. On his way to Victory Road. Didn't see yeah, didn't see any major problems from Zan. Yeah, this is still very close. No, KR! You went 1-2 oh. up. He has to reset the room. Oh no. Messing up the strength puzzle. Gives me nightmares. Strength puzzles are very annoying. There he goes. Push that boulder. Good job. Hopefully that doesn't cost him any encounters later on. I think he should be okay. Alright, Randall is going to start his rival fight after saving. And Zan is now finally- yep. Final Starting rival. the rival fight. Yeah. Yeah, the gap is- Definitely closing between Zan and Kid Rocker. If Zan has a, you know, very good movement on this split, that is at least a few seconds of time save. Kid Rocker, unfortunately, Kid Rocker doing... with a counter. 
Gives Santa a little bit of extra time to catch up. That is, yeah, definitely not insignificant. That's at least 10 seconds right there, about. That could make a difference. All right, Randall hitting his blizzard on the Venusaur. Couple extra steps from Zan. And Kid Rock is now finally gonna buy his last little shop here, buying all full restores, and yep. on his way to Lorelei. He only buys one. Oh, <laughs> there it goes. Gotta separate your purchases a little bit. Tax pur purposes, you never know. Yeah, exactly. You just got you gotta avoid taxing here in the Pokemon realm. Yep. Wonder what happens with tax evasion and Pokemon, but you know that's a, a time to tell for another time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zan using his last super repel. Almost through Victory Road. They are getting frozen. Oh wow! Right away on Lorelei. He okay. Potentially could have got Hailus if he wasn't frozen. Yeah. There's Got the hail. Got turn three hail. That's unfortunate. Yeah, that's gonna be an extra turn of healing that he has to do. Randall through the fight, now on his way to Victory Road. While Zan is finally out of Victory Road. Where those full restores come in handy. Get able to heal the freeze. Yeah, if only you could defrost while using items. That would have been useful there. And yeah, Randall should be entering Victory Road in the next minute or so. Zan doing his final shopping. No miss inputs there. Does not get the protect from cloister. That's good. That's beautiful. I don't know if I saw Zan save for this fight. I don't remember. Uh, typically, you don't save uh, if you have extra healing items or uh, X items. It doesn't become that big of a deal. But also, he did buy seven super potions, so I don't. He has 15. He's fine. Yeah. Um. Not all 15. Hail turn one. Okay. Yeah, looking for hailless fights is always something you would like to see in this in this first fight of the Elite Four. But not super common. Alright, and Kid Rocker is on the Lapras. Water Absorb. Oh no. Confused. And Just he hurts himself. Risking it, yeah. Not healing yet. Okay, no He's going for it again. This is risky. Misses Hits it, he might die. Again. No crit. He is or 30, he is 30 modest. He should be fine, okay. but paralyzed. Yep. We'll be able to heal it off. Okay. That was definitely a scary Lapras. It's still not over, even. That's another Confuse Ray. Just gonna, yeah. Hope it hurts himself three. Oh it man, three, three out of three. Itself. Yeah, each of those is a 50 50. And paralyzed. This is Zan's excellent time wow. to catch up. Yeah, Zan has essentially caught up. He's one poke behind. This is crazy. Alright, Lapras Citrus Berry should proc. Yep. Should finish it off with a bite. Okay, through the Lapras, but not without a lot of time loss. Now it's Zan's turn to start fighting the Lapras and see what he can do. Yep. Randall doing slots while doing the strength puzzle. He is, he's really holding left. He's Very really, nice he point. really is, uh, the goat. He's moving along.
Zan did have to heal on that Lapras. Hopefully he sees no para. Good. Okay. And that should be root Lapras for him. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is a close race between Kid Rocker and Zan. Yeah. If uh, if anything goes wrong for Kid Rocker, that could close the gap. It is very close. I think he got two Rock Tomb misses. I could have been wrong. He's not at a good HP yet. I think he's got plus Getting four. Okay, and no crit for Kid Rocker. Very good. He is kind of a, I don't know if he's dead to Rock Tomb. He's gonna super. Gets EQ'd. Alright, he's at a good HP. You can go. That works. Good adjustment for Kid Rocker to fix the HP. Yeah, because you're worried about that Hitmonchan with Mach Punch, definitely. But yeah, if... okay, Zan avoiding the crit. He has to think about what to do. I don't know if that's dead. Is that this dead is... to Mach Punch? This is a tricky fight. I don't know what the range is here. He, that is Mach Punch range. That is, it's a range. He could die to Mach Punch here. Does he go for it? He's going for and it. He gets hit. Oh my god! What is he? Oh my goodness. Whew. He's alive. That's the most calc thing, the skill on Xan being... Oh, it was the closest thing yet. Trying to catch up to Kid Rocker. Does not heal. What Go a crazy it. play. That range was a 23 to 26. Yep. Uh, for 26 to 31 Rash. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, so he was probably favored to live, but definitely had a... Definitely had a real chance to die. Now we're neck and neck. K Rocker finally starting to Agatha and Zan right behind him after saving. He is one HP though, he does have yeah, to he heal. Has to heal. Yep. He's gonna I don't know if he has Orin. Potion twice for 45. No more potions left, but doesn't need it for after this. Kid Rocker is going to try his best to hit this. Hits it. Gengar. Very nice. Randall through Dugong. Yep. Slowly behind Didn't them. Hail. Yeah. So about two fights behind. Or, yeah, he's got Bruno in between them. This Gengar can be very annoying. Lands really gotta hit him. Good heal there. She will get shadow punched again. He needs yep. to hit this. Very Hits nice. It and through. Both had solid Agathas. Alright, Randall going out of the Lapras now. Gets the flinch. flinch. Very nice. Body slam. Did Excellent. not get paired. He can't go for it and do full restore strats. Yep. Alright. Kid Rocker on his way to Lance. Already. Only two, uh, two or three. No, three more after this. Two more now for Xan. Right up behind him. Yep. Very close. Now, okay, Kid Rocker does have two X accuracies still, I believe, or and he has an extra X accuracy. He did not save, so if he does get hyper hyper being crit, he is in a real bad spot. Okay, you'll have to go back to Agatha. But he does have that safety of the double X axe compared to Xan, where he does only has one for this fight. Yep. Uh, 
Okay. Kid Rocker playing it pretty safe, not gonna risk any crits. Just full healing when he gets down to about half. That way, Hyper Beam crit shouldn't be an issue. He has to heal again for... Yeah, this is really risky if he doesn't hit the range. It isn't... Oh, he gets the crit. Very nice. Yeah, that is... Yep, yeah, that's a range. Fight, fight, Blizzard. Randall should be safely through Bruno. Yes. And nice HP for Agatha. Zan is setting up on the Gyarados. This is very I, close. It's I don't think that Blizzard kills though. It does. And gets gets the kill on Gyarados. Very nice. Oh, did he get a crit? You must have got a crit. Okay, Aerodactyl he... crit would kill. Okay, Kid Rockers through the Aerodactyl. Randall just now starting Agatha. All right, Kid Rocker's on champ. Doing his final menu before going into a May save. He has two X accuracies left, so he is gonna be playing it really safe on this last fight. Yep, and that should so, be what he does. He is gonna, he is gonna save. And he does have extra guard specs, so he can uh, double guard spec on this Pidgey for a guaranteed win. Zan through Lance. No major problems. I wonder if Zan is going to save to maybe try to even up the playing field. Kid Rock is going to have his playing it really safe, so he may actually come back up. That would be a very bold play. This is, you know, a regardless yeah, I mean, of what he does, both riders will have a very solid time at the end of this. That's also true. Yeah, maybe you should save just to guarantee the good time. Yeah. yeah he's going to save. Randall at low HP, but it should be through Agatha. It's a crit off of Aerial Ace. Okay, lots of Aerial Aces. On Kid Rocker. It's just going. Finish it Got a decent off. HP. Yep. Go for Solar Beam, he's not going to be able to do the double X hack. He goes for Surf! Oh. He's dead! <gasps> that was a misclick. It was a misclick, he clicked A way too many times, he's resetting. Zan oh is my gosh. The lead. That's a huge misplay. That might be the, th the throw of round one. That is Zan crazy. Zan safe, he guarantees pot one. Yeah. Randall just now entering Lance. Okay, we got the solar beam coming up too. If as long as he doesn't misclick, hits it. Okay. He goes he's through Venusaur. Yep. Randall's also starting Lance at the moment. Yep. Gonna have to go through this Gyarados. I guess depending on depending on Zan's HP, he may or may not heal before the Arcanine or the Gyarados. He more likely will have to heal unless I don't think he went to plus three. Or yeah, no, he did go to plus three, so he will be able to bite Blizzard. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, are hitting the blizzard on Venusaur. Did Rattle is through Gyarados. Zan doing by blizzard. 80 health. Arcanine does 31 rash, does 42. Technically could die to crit. Yeah, high roll crit could kill. He is gonna heal. Playing it nice and safe, just to guarantee pot one into a flamethrower. Hopefully no burn. Okay. And just and on top of it. extreme speed. That's and that it. is it. Ladies and gentlemen, pot three Zan has won what? this race. What a crazy comeback. All off of a misclick. Very unfortunate misclick for Kid Rocker, definitely. To all the Raiders, uh, Red Kid Rocker sadly did misclick uh, Surf on Venusaur when he was in Solar Beam and did end up having to reset uh, this turn the tide of this race. It was a really back and forth race through this ending of E4. And this is absolutely crazy. Randall now finally through with Lance and about to go to champ. And it looks like Kid Rocker is now officially also done. Through. Wow. What a crazy turn of events. That that was Kid Rocker's race right there. If it, yeah. If that surf didn't come out. It happens though. It, it's definitely a thing that can happen. And guys, uh, a lot of these times him having a 211 is still extremely good. Yeah. That is, so even yeah, if so, he will still, he'll still probably proceed on to the next round. Randall now starting champ. Yeah, Kid Rocker was actually an entire fight ahead going into Victory Road in E4, but yeah, had some mistakes on Victory Road and then just got some very rough fights. Um... Yeah, especially with Lorelei, that Lapras, and then, yeah, the, the Venusaur. Randall so far getting a really clean champ, no no attacks whatsoever, so you may not have to heal. No attacks, so he does not have to heal wow. a rel relatively clean champ so far for Randall. Very nice. That would, yeah, could hopefully secure maybe a sub-215. And guys, for the trouble that Randall is having, he's potentially probably getting a, you know, 213, 214 is quite amazing. Randall going in for the 93. And he hits. Hits his blizzard. Very nice. Wow, what a crazy the runs. Right. Crazy only ending. Thing, yeah. Only thing really standing in Randall's way is potential, you know, crazy crits from Gyarados or Arcanine, but at this HP it shouldn't even be an issue. Yeah, not at all. Anything it would just be time loss at this point. Yep. Flinch even. No need to worry about it. Randall is Welcome through Welcome KR here. to the commentary. Hello KR. That, that E4 was so tilting, it's not even funny. That was uh, devastating to watch, definitely. Extremely sorry to hear that for you, Kid, Kid Rocker. Also, Zan, welcome to the commentary. Yo, guys. You just... GG's, fellas. Congrats. GG's. Oh my god, man. And with that, Randall is through. That is the last Pokemon of the champ. He is done. And with that, he's more likely going to get a 214.42. Not bad at all. All runners below 215. Yeah, uh, I have to confess, after that Brock, I never expected that I was going to get a 210, man. That Brock was 
the yeah. toughest I've ever had. Holy moly, man. Side for the Brock, man, you played time. amazing, though. Like, even with the, the death on Liam and on Brock, you pulled through, man, and you, you kept it on pace. Uh, you know, you did an excellent job. Good work. Yeah. I, I really hate the early game of this run, man. I, I feel like I'm always at a bad pace after Misty. And then I usually don't mess up after the early game, but the early game, we... Seems pretty tough. I just can't get a good early game ever. Yeah, uh, the early I, game. I, I'm not cool. sure if you. So I didn't watch it a lot the stream. I just checked real quick, quickly sometimes to see how the others were doing. Uh, but if you guys uh, are in doubt, if I had three speed EVs, I had because. I got an unlucky crit on the PJ I was trying to catch mm -hmm. in round one. That was my third speed AV. I just uh, checked that uh, someone co uh, commented that I might have not got my third speed AV, but I, I knew I had that. That's why I, I went for Carbus. No, yeah, it was a very good strat for the, the backup that you had. I uh, played it really well with the Carbo, so that way you didn't have to X speed. Overall, amazing. And of course, Randall mm -hmm. is able to join us if he would like to for the commentary as well. Yep, did just finish a 12, 14, 40. Not bad at all. So, you know, Randall said he's going PM, then he's going to join. Nice. So guys, thank you very much for the race. I need to get going. GG's everyone. GG's, uh, yeah. Yeah, GG's. excellently yeah. played. Thank you, thank you. See ya guys. See you. Bye. Uh, Kid Rocker, uh, you, other than of course, sadly of the E4, you did have an amazing race though. You were kicking ass. Um, you had a very nice surge, very, very good Koga for being early surge. Um, and you, you played and played and executed everything right. Sadly, uh, you know, the nerves does get to you, but, you know, uh, at the end of the day, it does happen. Honestly, if I was fine until that Lorelei fight where I kept getting confused, kept getting paralyzed, got frozen by the dugong. Like, there's so many things that happened on that fight that shouldn't have, and it was, it just threw me off course, and... Just yeah, the, didn't know. Just tilting. Yeah, it's your uh, turn to uh, frozen into t uh, turn three hail. It just uh, yeah, it gets it doesn't really get much brutal than that into the Lapras where you got confused, parad, confused, parad, healed. Uh, yeah, that was definitely one of the worst lore lies I've seen in the in the tournament so far. That was Hell, rough. that's one of the worst Lorelei's I've seen probably ever. <laughs> yeah, that did not look like a fun time. Although you, your Bruno and your Agatha were both very, extremely solid. You did, you played it perfectly. Healed when you needed to heal. I learned Executed. from my mistake on Bruno. On the yeah, last I race that I did. I need to take a class on Bruno. Anyone offering lessons, I will glad to take them. Uh, you did hit the the first surf, I do believe, on the um, on Agatha. I did. That was amazing. Yep. Yeah, honestly, very good, good play all around. Like for that whole mid game, we were just like they, all three of you were very evenly spaced out, and it just stayed for like forty five minutes. And Randall joining us for the commentary. Randall, how'd you Howdy. feel about your run? Uh, upset, but it's fine. Yeah, that uh, that Josh death, man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, taking an early death like that is very tough, for sure. Especially if you were safe from anything but a crit on the, the leech life. 
Yeah, exactly. Usually it's like, you usually don't get two quick attacks, so you usually don't even have to worry about it, but yep. it is it is what it is, and I guess I now know to save for it, so uh, I lessons learned. <laughs> I did forget, what was- did you have anything else that was, uh, pretty bad with your run? Um, there was a mid catch, but, like, for the most part it was fine. Yeah. Oh, I missed, uh, three mega kicks on the last Oddish in Route 25. Yes. yes. Yeah, oh my gosh, that was quite the moment. But made it out alive. Yeah, that was that was scary. Um, and was was it Randall that yeah had to use like all the balls to catch a Pidgey? Yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> that was quite the moment as well. That was yeah. After Water seeing the Amoeba clip, I was just, I was just <laughs> like Amoeba had had it a whole lot worse, but yeah. Do you guys have any other inputs for your runs? Um, uh, con congrats to Amiibo on his 2, 2 while the race was going on. Oh, Wait, you got a 2 cool. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> wow. That's kind of good. I thought it was a 2-0-2. I was going say, I thought it was 2-0-2. Or, or 2 0 2, yeah, whatever. 2 0 2 0 2 0 2 I don't know. Whatever it was. Close enough. Yeah, solid, yeah, very solid <laughs> run. It was like frames away from being a sub two o two. Can re time copium? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, that's pretty epic. Just the fact that it was a solid run, and then E four went to shit after that. Otherwise, it probably would have been like a two o eight. Two o eight, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been a very solid run if, yeah, with a, even a decent Elite Four. I lost two and a half minutes to E4. Yeah. That is brutal. Yeah. But with all that, I think we're going to end the stream now. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Um, the next race will be tomorrow between Wanley, Chippy, and Oh no, we have one race before that, sorry. Tomorrow's Wednesday, not Thursday. My days are all thrown off. Uh, What's the other race tomorrow? Because my race is tomorrow. Oh shoot, good oh, luck. Yeah, good tomorrow. luck, Chippy. My bad. Now PSR podcast this isn't 30 minutes, really. In Sheltie at 7pm. Or... 7pm EDT over on the same channel. Nice. Alright, last slots for the road. <laughs> that was not even close. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good night. Peace out. Enjoy the PSR podcast in 30 See minutes. See y'all. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all. GG.